What's poppin' socialites? Welcome back to another episode of Social Climate, the update edition. And on this episode right here, I'm updating the last video that I made about the young man in Dallas, 26-year-old Botham Shim John, who was murdered by an off-duty police officer who wandered in his apartment thinking that it was her own apartment, police officer Amber Geyer, who has shot and killed Botham. Now, I was so confused making the first video because all of the facts were all screwed up. I mean, really, it, there wasn't any facts. It was just like a big mystery. Like she wanted it. She said she wanted it into the wrong apartment and she shot somebody. And it just happened to be she's a Caucasian female. It just happened to be a black man. So everyone's in uproar about this. But on my last video, I didn't say that she has been arrested. She's been arrested on manslaughter charges, a $300,000 bond. She bonded out. So she got some paper somewhere. Now, there's some other strange facts that have come out, too. You have people in the Southside Flats building that they both lived in saying that they heard somebody saying, let me in, let me in, in a loud, boisterous manner. Now, it could be her, it could have been somebody else, but after they heard that, they heard shots. I don't know if it was her. I don't know if it really pertains to this case, but I'm just doing an update. This is a very confusing case, a very confusing situation. I just hope that Botham Shim John gets justice and his family gets the justice that he needs. And I'm going to leave you with some video of his family talking about the situation. So it's climate. I'm out. What we want, we I'm not satisfied that we have all the answers. And the number one answer that I want is what happened. I have asked too many questions and I've been told that there are no answers yet. I'm looking forward to all of the powers that be to come up with the answers to make me more satisfied that they are doing what is in the best interest of getting justice for both of them. It's very clear to us that the very foundation of the justice system in America required for the killer of Botham John to be arrested. Think about it. What terrible precedence would this have set had she not been arrested? People could just say, I went to the wrong apartment. I thought it was my apartment. And I killed the innocent person. Because that would be the precedence had an arrest not been made in this case. And this is a shocking scenario to everybody. The way both of them was killed was not just a shock to the family, but it was astonishing to most sensible people, not just in America, but around the world, because he was from the island nation of St. Lucia. So this is an international incident, not just a local incident. When people put it in context and they are watching, is the American justice system going to treat both them, John and his family, like they would treat the office of family had this situation been reversed click like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button yeah